I just knew. His name is Benjamin. Benjamin Lewis. That is a dare, Harlan. But it's not going to work. I only want you to step inside. Look at the renovations and tell me what you think. I already know what I think. I'm not living in a place that Kyle owns. Oh, we. And I spent a fortune for nothing. Blackmail. Honey, just look at the changes, that's all. If you don't want to live here, fine. But the least you could do is look at them or walk all the way back home to my place. But the car... You mean to tell me you will make me walk all the way back up to the hill if I don't go inside there? Yes, thank the good Lord, you got on sensible shoes. You old pirate! <laughs> okay, open the door, let's get this over with. That's more like it. Pretty good for an old pirate, eh? I can't believe it. Doesn't even look like the same place. You like it? <laughs> I love it! But, when I agreed to let you fix up this place, you said you were going to do the roof and the floor. This. It's like you read my mind. I did not. You told me exactly what you wanted in here. Oh, I did no such thing. You did? You were only about six years old. You sat on my knee and you told me exactly the kind of house you wanted for your mama someday. Full of light and happy colors. And filled with all the things that meant something to her. I can't believe you remembered. After all this time, it's been so long. Not for me. You've been a part of my life since your first breath, Reba, darling. I know you through and through. I should be mad at you. Yep. I should be giving you a piece of my mind for dragging me all the way over here. Darn tootin'. But I'll let you off the hook. <laughs> this time. <laughs> those photos. I took those. You're telling me. I nearly went blind going through all the snapshots you've taken over the years. <laughs> Those are some of my favorites. <laughs> Look at how big Billy's ears yeah. were. <laughs> and there's the old house in Tulsa. Mm -hmm. And that radiator. Oh, God rest its soul. <laughs> oh, Harlan, you shouldn't have gone to all the trouble. I mean, it's sweet, but it's hardly worth it. I mean, it's not like these pictures are good or anything. Well, you're a darn good photographer. You know you're the only one who ever told me that? Because I'm the only one who knows your deep, dark secret. Reva Shane is a compulsive shutterbird. Bug, 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 and I'm not compulsive. And if you don't hush up, I'm going to make you sit through 50 photo albums in one sitting. You are going to have to catch me first. Oh, Harlan, oh! What was that? Fletcher. Uh, yeah, I kind of... I suppose this belongs to you. Ow. I wanted to see if you'd shoot it first. <laughs> Mad at both of you for keeping secrets from me. I had every right to know that Kyle owned this house. But, now that I've had a chance to think about it, I can understand why you kept it quiet. Ain't she something? She's something else. Would you two let me finish, please? <laughs> now, this is final. I cannot and I will not live in this house while uh, Kyle owns it. Reva, you know, now, I wait a minute. Think... I am not being unreasonable here or stupid or either. That's the way it is. Okay? Okay. okay. Yes, Fletcher? Can I at least take a look at the place while I'm here? Yes. As long as you don't steal anything. <laughs> <laughs> well, you talk about your befores and your afters. Mm. This place is amazing. No, it's not amazing. This place is a miracle. <laughs> <laughs> that old iron size, it's gone. <laughs> not quite. Reba took a snapshot of the dear departed before its demise. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, not bad. We're back. What are you 
doing here? Stay away from me, Kyle. Just stay away. That sign belongs here. No. And so do you. This house is not mine. Well, let's see if we can't work something out. You own this place, and H.B. renovated it. You have something to work out, you work it out with H.B. Rita, this is your home. No, it's not. I'm moving out today. Yes, you are. I have something you're gonna like when you wake up. You don't want to... Well, I guess I can't throw you out. You do own the place. It's beautiful. Yep, H.B. did one hell of a job. You should be grateful to him for increasing the value of your property, and you two can split the profit once you sell it. I'm not gonna sell it. Suit yourself. You can do with it whatever you want. Those are beautiful. What's more than that, they're good, too. Thanks. These are yours? You took these? I didn't know you were interested in photography. There's a lot I never told you. We didn't have a lot of time together. If you just let me pack, I can be out of your way in no time flat. You can't leave here, Rita. You love this house. You have to stay here, especially now that it's fit for you to live in. I cannot live in this house while you own it. And I won't. I thought you understood that. I do. That's why I'm here, to give you this. It's the deed I've transferred title to you. This is your house now. You still don't get it. You didn't understand a word I was saying to you at the house. I heard what you said. Oh, no. You only hear what you want to hear. I don't want your help. I don't need it. But I'm only offering you the same kind of help that H.B. did. You accepted it from him. Why not from me? H.B. is a friend. You're not. You should know by now that we never can be. Kyle, we can't be friends. We can't be anything. I never should have bought this house. It was a mistake. I know that now, and I'm here to fix it. To let you know... To let me know that you have no intention of letting go of me. If I let you give me this house, I would feel as if I owed you something. Every time I walked into this place, every time I looked around here, every time I tried to sleep at night, I can't live like that, and neither can you or Maeve. You cannot straighten out your life with Maeve while you're still hanging on to me. hearing lectures. I am sick to death of it. I am sick of everyone misinterpreting my actions. Look, I am trying to get straight with Maeve. You want me to, and so do I, but I can't do it until I clean the slate, and that means this house. You've got to take this house back, because until you do, I'm never going to know what kind of life I'll have with Maeve. trying to do what's right for everybody else. Every time I do, it just gets thrown back in my face. Who said you had to decide what was right for everybody? There's nothing wrong with trying to protect those that I love. All I wanted for you was for you to be safe and happy. What the hell is wrong with that? That wasn't all you wanted. All I wanted for Maeve was to be able to protect her. But she wouldn't let me. And now look what happened. You can't blame May for your baby being stillborn. I blame her for running away, for taking off at the risk of our baby. Well, that's it. I've had it. I'm no longer going to be interested in what's right for anybody else. I'm only going to be interested in what's right for me. So what else is new? You don't honestly think that I was trying to do what was right for you? If you did, you were way off base. You tried to hang on to me longer than you had any right to. All right, well, I'm letting go now. And we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. We'll see what Maeve and I can come up with now that I'm free of you. But I can't talk honestly to Maeve while I still own this house or while I have this. I can't take that. I can't. Do whatever you want to with it. Sell it. Throw it away. But I won't take that ring. All right, I'll get rid of it. What about the house? 
I don't know. Take it. Leave a priest. It's the one thing that I can give you that I know you love. Reva, I can let go of you if I know that you'll be safe and happy here in this house. I won't let you give me Reva Bend. I'll buy it from you. A nurse's aid, Sally? I won't be a nurse's aid forever. You just set a price, fair market value, less the improvements HB made. You, you set up a, an interest rate and a mortgage payment schedule, and I'll be sure that I, I make the payments every month. I'll have my lawyers draw up the papers. Handshake deal? I guess there's nothing more to be said. I guess not.